powerful head of the New York State Senate is charged tonight in a massive political corruption case. This now only two months, rather months after bribery and kickback charges caused the state assembly speaker to step down. CBS 2's political reporter Marshall Kramer has more on the circus in Albany. Uh, I know that I will be found not only not guilty, uh, but innocent. Senate Majority Leader Dean Skelos, after appearing in federal court on a complaint charging him and son Adam with public corruption on a grand scale. Senator Skelos and Adam Skelos worked as a team to illegally monetize the senator's power and influence to take care of Adam's financial needs. The pair are charged with conspiracy, bribery, and extortion involving one of the city's largest real estate developers and an environmental technology firm. The quid pro quo was simple. Adam Skelos reportedly got tens of thousands of dollars, and in exchange, Dean Skelos allegedly got real estate tax breaks for the developer, pressured Nassau County officials to award a $12 million stormwater treatment contract, and supported legislation that benefited the real estate industry. And after Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver was arrested three months ago on bribery and kickback charges, Skelos' father and son reportedly engaged in an elaborate scheme to hide their actions using burner phones and talking in code. The U.S. attorney who has made investigating Albany corruption one of the cornerstones of his tenure was more subdued than usual, maybe because judges have resented his public flamboyance. Still, there were warnings of more to come. By now, two things should be abundantly clear. First, public corruption is a deep-seated problem in New York State. It is a problem in both chambers. It is a problem on both sides of the aisle. And second, we are deadly serious about tackling that problem. Senator Skelos and his son were each released without bail. Senator Skelos had to turn over his hunting rifle. But the unanswered question tonight is whether Senator Skelos will give up his leadership position, and if he does, who will replace him? Reporting live outside federal court in lower Manhattan, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.